Well, welcome to Simon Walton to Screen Careers today. Thank you for spending time with us, Simon. Now, your current role is that of a director of photography or the DOP on a film set. Could you explain to us what responsibilities that brings with that role on a film set? Well, I'm, you know, I'm the director of photography. So, you know, my, my job entails um, working with the director and all the other HODs of all the different departments. Um, and our job and my job primarily is to visually bring uh, the director's vision to the screen. Um, I'm basically capturing the visuals of everybody's hard work. Uh, I'm in charge of the lighting, the camera and the grips department. Um, and I'm there to capture the performance of the actors and to tell the story visually to create mood uh, atmosphere and realism and, and you know create a script basically wonderfully wonderful um simon um you just don't become a dop overnight as they say so i'm really interested to know when simon walton left school what happened on your on your career pathway and journeys in life to become the dop well, I started out, I mean, I'm from a very young age, I've, I've been a very keen photographer and um, I had the, the toss up was to go and once I got to the end of school was to either go and study history for a degree in Wales or go to art college and study photography. So I studied photography, stills primarily to start with. Um, and that led me on to working in um, a media services department in, in one of the Royal Dockyards and they started making videos and i met a cameraman a lovely welsh cameraman called roger edwards who said you don't want to be in here you want to come out and assist for me so i did um and then basically after that i sort of assisted on documentaries for a few years and then i moved to london and i moved into drama um which wasn't intentional at the time though it was because documentaries uh, there wasn't the budget for assistance anymore so I started working in drama and I, I started basically in, in, in two strands. One part of it, I started doing the, the National Film School shoots as an assistant um, spark. So I started working for a bit for Michael Samuelson's and doing stuff for them as a sort of like a trainee. Um, but then they said I had to go back to college and uh, I basically didn't want to do that because I'd done my, my photography um, course and so there they then sent me off to Panavision in London which is one of the camera hire houses to do all the cameras and the lenses and all the various kit that goes with it uh, and so I became a camera trainee basically and um, uh, basically I was uh, I started making the tea uh, that's how I started out um, and learning about all the various different cameras lenses and all the different kit that goes with it um, used within filmmaking um, and also what all the other different departments did. So that's the best thing about starting as a trainee. Um, and then I moved on to load because things used to be shot on film. So I used to be a clapper loader, which was a great job. I really enjoyed that job. Um, and I did that for about four years. And again, I was working with some great DAPs from the BSC, um, which is the British Society of Cinematography. And uh, I then moved on and moved up to start focus pulling. Uh, which is basically where you're working directly with the, the camera operator or the or the um, DOP, whoever is operating the camera, and you keep everything sharp. So I did that for many years, um, but I always really wanted to to be a photographer, and um, so eventually, about seven years ago, I stepped up and became a director of photography. And wow. uh, now I operate and light my own projects basically or projects that I'm engaged on which I mainly get through my agent. Thank you very much for what a wonderful life you've led and, and very importantly you've spent time in quite key roles within the camera department learning um, uh, learning about the equipment I'd imagine uh, but more than anything learning the art and, and watching others work other director of photography and um, members work and, and gave absolutely you know, there's, experiences it's a very good thing to, to move up through through the sort of the roles and do all the different roles because it i mean the way i approach the industry it's to me it's more of a vocation than um you know than just a job 
And I think if you have an understanding of all the roles that go before, you know, before you become a director of photography, then you have a greater understanding of how, how to make something um, and how, what people are going through in terms of your own department and how to look after them properly. And that's a big part of it is actually um, looking after these people because they are under your, your care, basically, while you're working with them. Um, and you also you want to get the best out of them. So, you know, if you understand what they do and they understand that you understand what they do, then they will give you the respect that you that you deserve, you know, which will make your life much easier as a head of department, that's for sure. And I totally agree with you there, Simon. And should there be um, uh, um, one of our audience members tuning in to, to watch this video um, on screen careers that have got a very keen interest to move towards the camera department and to become a trainee, what tips and advice could you give that individual um, in regards of having some kind of process of, of thinking and, 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 and uh, an approach to, to the industry in, in, a, in a correct manner? Um, I would say, you know, it's, to any, any new entrant, you know, to, to the film industry or in whatever department, but even, you know, especially the camera department, is um, you have to be quite tenacious. You've got to really want to do it. Um, I would say that, you know, a good way of starting, um, or certainly a good way for me, was to go to all the camera houses uh, in in various different there are lots of them in different cities now um, all over the country it primarily was London when I started so I went to Panavision Aries and all the various other um, names that are out there um, and I just went and did some work experience to start with and that got me into meeting people because when crews go out to shoot things they they often have a week of testing all the equipment um, and so you will meet uh, focus pullers and clapper loaders and and various other people cameramen and ladies will come in and do their thing and um and, and that's a really good way of meeting people and it's also a very good way of getting to learn what all the equipment does what all the different cameras are what the lenses are how everything goes together because that's part of it really um and and it, it helps you introduce you to into the system really and that quite often you know i've had have got jobs from meeting people and it's all about meeting people really and building up contacts um, uh, and this industry is very much about that it's about more about who you know um, yeah. to get you started yeah. obviously you've got to be good at your job but um, yeah that's definitely uh, that's definitely a big thing um, I'd say work experience is is a good way forward and getting to know people um, that's that's great advice, Simon. And also, I have to admit, this is the platform really to signpost people in the in in the right direction. That was a really good moment you mentioned there now about contacting camera facility hiring um, 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 companies. You did mention Panavision. You did mention Aries. There are other companies such as VMI, Movie Tech. Oh. And also Films of 59 here in Wales, which I think is an important one to signpost as well. Absolutely. It's a great casualty and facilitate Doctor Who here in Wales. So yes. um, it's good just to film, mention. Film. Films are a great company. I've used films a lot, work with them a lot. Um, but, uh, you know, and Visual Impact, okay, of course, you know, there's all that sort of stuff. They've got a branch called 24 7 Drama that they work through. Yeah. There, are, there are loads of them. But I mean, the thing that I would say that, you know, if you are getting involved and, uh, with crews and starting to meet people, the, the best, biggest piece of advice I would give you is, is always be hands on. You don't be shy, don't stand back, uh, you know get involved, really get involved with people and, and try to anticipate what people want and need at the time because that's really helpful uh, for, for you know an assistant if they know that there's somebody thinking, oh, I've marked up the tackle board for the next scene or I've done this or I've got the lenses in the right place so that if we have to change lens, it's there. It's all that sort of stuff. It's, it's just about, it's a, a lot of it's common sense, but it is about very much being hands-on and involved with the process and not standing back and you know and obviously another very useful thing is is a, making a good cuppa is quite important <laughs> what a wonderful way to finish because we've all been through that process having been a, a runner myself many many moons ago making those cups of tea and uh, what a great way to bring that to an end and um, um, of our screen career session today, Simon. Thank you for spending the time with us in doing and, and partaking great wisdom and advice there um, for the new entrants 
um, and the audience that's watching today. But before we bring this to a close, I'd love to ask you the, my last question today. What have been your career highlights? Um, I think career highlights, well, it's always nice to work on a show that gets nominated for um, a BAFTA or a BAFTA Cymru award. Um, you know, that's, that does make you feel quite sort of privileged to have been part of a process that, that, has, mm. that has been very much rewarded um, for its creativity, which is very much a team effort. Um, I've, I suppose some of my career highlights um, I was part of one of the winning teams for a BAFTA for um, winning casualty episode that all three episodes went out but one of them was one that I'd lit so I was very proud of that. Um, I filmed in the Caribbean which has been was a great treat I've done that twice um, uh, on Death in Paradise and then I've also been involved with lots of other sort of uh, shows in Wales I did a, a really good political drama a few years ago for um, S4C called um, Bukewa yep. and that to me was was a real um, really grateful to Bremen Kennard the producer for getting me involved with that because she gave me my break on that and that really that really cemented my sort of move forward in the industry as, as a director of photography and um, and and for you know I was allowed to be very creative with that and do what I wanted and that's basically all you can ask for in a production but yeah, I've had some, I've had some great, you know, I've worked on some great stuff. I've worked on Doctor Who and many, many other, many other great shows over the course of my career. And um, I look forward to working on some, many more, I hope. <laughs> and hopefully you will soon, sir, um, without a shadow of doubt. I know you're currently working on a production as well. So thank you for spending your valuable time with us now today um, on Screen Careers. Simon Walton, Diolch and Vaud, thank you very much. Absolute pleasure. Quite so.